Hey everybody, it's Jerry Citarella again with Prosperitas Financial and this is my August edition of the Monthly Moment. And unlike July, I think I'm going to have to just do this once. Uh, if you remember in July, I had to do it three different times because every time I was ready to release it, something else happened. So I want to talk about where we've come so far this year briefly, where we think we're going, some changes we've made, some changes we're planning on making, and then some warnings about the noise, the news, and other things going on. Something happened yesterday I want to share with you. So first of all, it's been a good year. Um, portfolios have done well. We made some what we believe to be were good changes. You know, interest rates are high in general, which is uh, bad news for a lot of people who want to buy things. But when you have money invested, it's not such a bad thing to have that opportunity to have some real solid fixed rates. So with the rates higher, some areas that we have positions in, we just didn't feel would, would do as well. Um, so we were able to reposition some of those assets, get a higher than normal cash position in the portfolios and actually earn uh, annualized return of about 5% on some of those things. So we're just now starting to unravel some of that as we believe interest rates will come down soon, finally. Um, you know, question there, is it a quarter percent? Is it half percent? There were some economic reports recently, which kind of opened up the door to not lowering the rates. Um, so recently we had a pretty big dip last Monday, which kind of ended what we believe was a downturn correction. Uh, we made some small moves based on that to take advantage of the discounts. Um, and then as a couple people were calling and emailing and a little concerned about that, uh, before I had time to call back or even email back, we pretty much corrected out of it and we're back ahead of where we were then. So that's just the world we live in. Be ready for more volatility. Yes, I know there is some stability and obviously anything can happen at any time, um, but we're still kind of confident in the future. And, and one of those reasons is um, people aren't unrealistically, overly excited, euphoric about the markets. And when that happens, a lot of people just throw money at anything and overbuy and push prices up higher than they should be and buy on margin, which means borrowing money to buy stock and things. We don't see that euphoria. We don't see that overly excited attitude and, and purchasing patterns that really scare us to, to believe that we're overbought heading for a crash or a slide or creating more volatility, which then scares people into selling. Um, we're seeing cautious buying. And even last week when the markets had their, their problems for a day or two based on a kind of unexpected jobs report, um, it went down and, and, and people got scared and things happened, but it, it wasn't horrible. So we're seeing some um, cautious buying, cautious selling, people making reasonable decisions, I think, different sectors. Um, and that, that's good. That means that we'll have a more stable market, a bit more predictable. So we're happy about that. So moving forward, We'll see what happens when rates come down, how much they come down, whether it's a quarter percent, half percent, or maybe nothing. We had some pretty good economic reports recently. Markets were good today. I think it's the 13th that I'm doing this on. Um, so maybe the Fed will decide not to lower rates. Um, don't know for sure. And I may have said raised them earlier. If I did, I meant lowered rates. Um, the expectation now is probably a quarter of a percent decrease in the Fed rate in September. We'll see how that plays out. We have some plans. We'll adjust accordingly. We are starting to put some of that excess cash back into the markets and back into the bonds with the anticipation that we will have some good growth and good news on that. But Here's what I want to warn you about. In these times of volatility, everybody is trying to scare you. Everybody's trying to get you to do something. People are trying to get your money. Somebody called me yesterday, and I know you watch these, so just think, I'm not calling you out. I'm just sharing what happened. Somebody called me yesterday and said, hey, I heard this from this person, and they said I should be aware of this and doing that. Now, very vague, obviously, but just know it was scary stuff, and then they're advice on how you should react. And I don't want to say the specifics only because um, I just don't. So what I did is I got this person's name. I went on a quick internet search and basically shared with this person who gave me this information that this person, this well-known speaker, author, analyst, um, great resume, um, uh, attorney, graduated from some of the top schools, master's degree in this, on the news, um, gets ten to $20,000 to just show up and speak somewhere. Um, this person was saying, we're gonna have a crash and you need to do this and this is coming. Well, I went back to 2000, I think it was 2013, and just about every year this gentleman wrote a book with pretty much the same title, talking about the crash is coming, here's what you need to do. The next Great Depression, here's what you need to do. This, that, all scary, scary titles. And the thing that he said you need to do 
was consistent and it happened to be a place that you can have money, a product. Um, and coincidentally, looks like he's involved in the companies that distribute or participate in that product. So point is, you're always going to hear somebody say something and it's really hard for someone to get on the news and say, hey, just have a diversified portfolio, make some small moves, be sensible. Uh, that's not exciting. But when they say, hey, this is going to happen and insert scary or exciting thing here, that's what most people do and that's what they say and that's what you hear. So just be ready. There's going to be a lot more of it, both on the political front, the economic front. Give me a call with any questions. Give me a call with any concerns. We have some plans in place. We have some contingency plans in place. Everything's been going well. We're going to continue down that track. And uh, I promise next month's will be shorter since this one and the last one were pretty long. But Jerry Cedarella, let me know if you need any help. If you know anyone who could benefit from this, pass it along. If you know anybody who can benefit from the work that I do, please pass them along to me and I'm happy to help. Have a great August, whatever's left, and we'll talk soon, I'm sure. Have a good one.